Are we on? Home Depot Debbie. Yes. I wonder if you have something creative and <laughs> fabulous for us today. <laughs> Let's see if we can put something together, shall we? Now, here's my favorite thing about you. We're going to make it happen with chicken wire and paper towels. You think I can make this up? No, only Miss Debbie can. Look how fabulous this stuff is. Well, you know, we are in a world of documentation. You know, everybody wants to, you know, take pictures, post them, and share with their family, and have them for memories for years to come. So these are just a couple of fun ways from when our kids are babies on up to, you know, put a pretty backdrop and make it beautiful yeah. for our photos. So the first one I have is Oh my God, so simple. This is hardware cloth, chicken wire, you know it is a few different things. And all I did was take paper, paper towels. towels and you just kind of pinch it in the middle, fold it like so, and stick it through and pull. And you're just gonna keep going yeah. until you have a beautiful floral-like backdrop. And you know, if you want, you could, you know, color them or whatever, but How just we like color? this. Well, you can, you know, use markers or crayons oh, okay, gotcha. or anything like that gotcha, gotcha. just to make it fun on the edges or yeah. what have you. But just like this gives you a beautiful, almost floral looking background. Yeah. And it really looks great with babies, you know, so a lot just of texture. A lot of texture. Yeah. And it looks like it's roses or flowers. So years to come, it'll be a I'll really I'll tell you what it doesn't job. look like is a bunch of paper towels. That's right. <laughs> now, when you're done uh, filling your chicken wire, to mount this to the wall, you can either use a couple of little uh, nails yeah. to tack it or a staple gun, and then you'll just have little pin holes right. in the wall. I mean, it's not like so, it's heavy or anything. Right, yeah. exactly. Then next, um, so these are pool noodles. They're noodles! And you can put a bunch of them together. I just brought four of different colors just to give you the idea. Yeah. But you can put a whole, you know, section of these together. And then I just threw some of the colored balls, like from a ball pit, yeah. down at the bottom. Now, we've got the noodles and the carpet at Home Depot. The balls you'll have to buy at uh, another store. Yeah. But um, just to give some color and, you know, sit the child in front of it and, and take a few pics, it, it's really and adorable. noodles are I like thought. a buck. Oh, they're so inexpensive. <laughs> so, yeah. And then you could uh, multi-purpose them as actual pool noodles. <laughs> Now here's the showstopper, yes. in my opinion. Now we have a picture of um, Lisa, our producer, her niece. Um, this idea is inspired by her. Yeah. And um, this is chalkboard paint. So this is her niece and um, she actually did it on the wall and framed it. And then when they're not taking photos, they use it as a multi-purpose you know, chalkboard in the so family room cute. kitchen. Um, but here what I did is um, a little twist on it. I actually painted a very thin Luan board mm -hmm with uh, chalkboard paint. It takes a couple coats and you want to let it cure for about seven days before you actually use it. And then you're going to rub the chalk sideways all over it for, to prime it really. And then you can erase it and use it as, but, and then it will erase easier as you go. That's a little hint and tip for chalk paint. But what I did was I just put a couple crates and a rug in front of it. And um, as the months go on, you know, some of them people like to take a picture every week yeah. or a picture every month. You could just change the time, you can change the design, you can change the name for different children, groups of children, you could personalize it however you want. Then I just threw some string lights on yeah. it to uh, give it a little zippity doo -dah. Now as we talked about, you can frame this. Yeah, by just using the molding. Just using molding, yeah. miter it in the corners. You could actually hang this on the wall mm -hmm. and use this as a multifunctional grocery list, whatever board. Your honeydew list and then, in between pictures. Exactly, exactly. So. You know, you want to be creative, you know, use your ideas. You know, there's the old school um, backdrop that you can make out of PVC pipe. Mm -hmm. So we've done that and you just put a, a, you know, square of PVC pipe with some legs and you can hang drop cloth from it, a curtain from it, you know, many things like that. And that's kind of a typical thing to do. So these are just a couple out of the box ideas. Love it. And I love it because it's inexpensive and easy. All of them are very inexpensive. And yeah. we're going to have all the directions um, on azfamily.com or on my uh, Facebook page, Home Depot Debbie. Awesome. What are you doing a little bit blah, later? Blah, blah. So coming up, we're going to talk about how to make uh, do it yourself growth charts. So to track how and I've seen big it they're getting. And it is amazing. They're really fun ideas. All right. We'll see you then. Thanks, okay. Miss Debbie. Thank you. Here,